Last week, we showed you how to remove your old toilet. This week, we're going to finish the job and put the new one in place. First, put the new bolts in place in the flange. They're called Johnny bolts. A little plumber's putty might help hold them in position. They should be the same distance from the wall. Remove anything you put in the flange opening to stop the sewer gas from entering the room. Place the new toilet bowl face down on a thick towel on the floor. Have a friend help you and always lift with your legs. Remember, it's a great way to throw out your back. Toilet bowls and tanks are fragile. Take your new wax ring and position it on the drain opening. Press it in place so it will hold when you flip the bowl over. Now carefully invert the bowl and position it on the flange and gently guide the bolts through the holes in the base of the bowl and the wax ring onto the flange opening. Apply pressure to the bowl to compress with the wax ring. Then tighten it in place with the nuts and washers on the bolts. Tighten slowly though and alternate sides as you tighten. Use a level on the bowl and a plastic shim if needed to make sure it doesn't rock. Add the caps to cover the bolts. You may have to cut off the bolt with a hacksaw to make the cover fit. The tank goes on next. It should have bolts on the bottom side that line up with the holes on the bowl. Carefully put it in place and slowly tighten the nuts below the tank. Now attach the water supply to the tank. You may need to update the connection hose to reach the new tank. Slowly turn it on and watch for leaks as the tank fills. The toilet seat should install easily with a couple of nuts. Then give the toilet a flush and watch for leaks again. That's all there is to it. A little work, but a new toilet is something you can do yourself.